I uh, acquired a, a new copy of a, a record which I've shared with you uh, previously, which I really love. I think it's a mystical record. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody else shares my sentiments, but this is really beautiful stuff. It's uh, Songs of the Hebrides. And uh, it was sung by uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, uh, harp and the, the singings by Patifer Kennedy Fraser, who was the daughter of this lady here. Marjorie Kennedy Fraser. Looking a bit ghostly in this photograph. This is a, her biography from 1929, first edition. A Life of Song, Marjorie Kennedy Fraser. She was the first, uh, well, the uh, the first person to record the, uh, uh, to actually physically record using wax cylinder recorder, the earliest uh, method of recording in those days, the songs of the uh, diminishing population of the islands of the Hebrides in Scotland. Very mystical songs. This, uh, the family, the Kennedys, uh, were known as the Singing Kennedys. They had a tradition of. Uh, of uh, folk song and collecting songs and, and going out and performing them. Uh, Marjorie was a pianist and, and a singer and also made a record of her, uh, some of her songs from her, her book uh, Songs of Hebrides. There's three books actually. And this is uh, one by a beautiful daughter, uh, Patifa Kennedy Fraser. Gorgeous girl, I haven't got the photograph in front of me. If you, if you look her up you'll see she's a real cracker. Songs of the Hebrides. I'll let you read the uh, and Namal Fisher, uh, Reaper's Song, I'm a bit of trouble reading the small writing, as it says arrangement by pa uh, Patifa Kennedy Fraser who was a harpist and mezzo-soprano accompanying herself uh, at the harp. Now, I think this record may be actually a bit cleaner than the, uh, the previous copy I shared, but uh, it's worth having to listen to again anyway and on this different uh, gramophone, this uh, HMV 102, this beautiful black HMV 102 gramophone.